From all the countries I've been to in the world, Malaysia has surprised me the most. I had no idea it was this modern, had this much greenery, and the people were amazing. In this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on Malaysia after living here for a month and whether this is a place I could see myself living long term. Before we get started, I want to be clear, this is just my personal experience. Of course, you cannot generalize an entire country based off one person uh, that ba barely discovered maybe 1% of this country. So keep that in mind. Before coming here, I had no idea what to expect of Malaysia. I had not watched any videos. I didn't want to get an idea what it was before coming here because I like to go into something brand new, experience everything for the first time. And I was really, really surprised by the heat. So it's very humid here. I'm sweating all the time. But that being said, Cameron Highlands, which I highlighted in one of my videos, is a great place if you want cooler weather. So I didn't realize how green this whole place was. So not only is it modern, it's also green. Speaking of modern, before coming here, I thought maybe Malaysia was a developing country. I had very little information about it because I kind of associated with like other Southeast Asian countries, but I was completely blown away. I was surprised how modern, especially KL Kuala Lumpur, the capital city was. Skyscrapers everywhere, uh, the modern infrastructure, uh, everything from gardens uh, that are in the middle of the city to like the MRT, LRT, even taxis and cars. Many, many people were just basically driving and not riding motorcycles. So that just shows you maybe the income of the average person. So I was really surprised how modern it was. And that was really good because a person that wants to stay and travel on a short period of time, they can access things very easily. So that was very, very uh, new to me. And the other thing is the visa situation. If you're coming here, be sure that you have an idea how long your visa is good for. If you cannot stay here past, let's say a month like myself, be sure you have a plan. So it really depends if you're coming here on just a tourist uh, visa, if you're staying here a couple weeks, or if this is a place you want to retire. And that's the other thing. This is probably one of the places I would consider myself retiring because everything is to my standards when it comes to, you know, Western standards, a nice apartment, air conditioning, internet, accommodations, transportation, and everything. Everything is great here. Uh, speaking of that cost of living here surprised me as well. Although it's modern and it provides you with a lot of the necessities that you need here, the cost of living in comparison to Canada, the US, anywhere in Europe is much, much cheaper. So consider that if you're coming here, that you can live very comfortably for about half or one third of what you're paying back home. So that was really good to see because of course, as much as we like to not admit sometimes, money runs the world. So keep that in mind, cost of living here is incredible, especially when you consider how cheap transportation is, taking a Grab or a taxi, an Uber somewhere staying in an apartment if you're renting long term. Even Airbnbs, you can find some great accommodations for a cheap price. And it's not just the cost, it's the quality that you get with the money that you pay. Many countries that I've visited, sometimes they are cheap, but sometimes you don't get the quality, like maybe the room is not built to your liking, maybe the shower, the water's not strong enough. Maybe the air condition doesn't work properly or the kitchen doesn't work properly. Maybe the electricity goes out once in a while. But in Malaysia, I didn't have any of those issues, to be honest. So I had a great time. That brings us to the next thing, people. The people of Malaysia have been one of my favorite so far. When I first got here, people were being friendly, giving me tips and advice. And I was kind of like uh, hesitant because I thought they wanted something for me, uh, very similar to other countries, maybe some money, a handout, or doing something like quid pro quo. So that was very surprising. Even the taxi drivers, I think some of the worst people, I hate to say it that way, but when I travel, some of the people that stress me out the most are the taxi drivers. But here in Kuala Lumpur, all of the taxi drivers were fantastic, always giving tips, advice, letting us know where to go, showing us places to eat, and incredible things like that. Speaking of eating, let's go back to the food a little bit. The Malaysian food has been one of my favorites so far. I know I keep saying this, but that's 100% true because it's a mixture of like Indian food and some other like Southeast Asian flavors, but it's their own unique type of way, like nasi kandar or lassi namak. They have these amazing flavors. And not only that, it's a variety of things you can get on top of it, on top of the rice. And every store is a little bit different. So you never get the same flavor. And that brings us back to the cost of living. Those items are very cheap. You can get them anywhere you go. Another thing that surprised me was the diversity here in Malaysia. I had no idea that Malaysia was so diverse because I've seen a mixture of different kinds of people. So uh, not only physically does everybody seem uh, diverse, multicultural, but from the foods that they eat, from the temples they worship at, the mosques, everything seems to be like a mishmash of all kinds of things, all kinds of people, all kinds of food. Reminds me a lot about Toronto back home in Canada, where that's where I live. and. 
everybody seems to be from all around the world. So it's really nice to get that feeling of inclusion and people not really discriminating. Once again, from my experience, I don't know what really goes on here. So that was really cool to see that it was so diverse in all aspects of life. And that diversity leads to having more options. We have more options, you get to enjoy yourself a lot more, right? Because you can pick and choose what you wanna eat, where you wanna stay, who you wanna spend time with. And of course, there's all kinds of things like meetups and you can meet language exchange people, if you wanna network. Unfortunately, my visa is about to come to an end and I cannot stay in Malaysia long term. If I do wanna be here, I either have to extend it or leave the country and come back. So that's something I have to consider. Um, with that being said, this is a place that someone can definitely spend a year or longer exploring thoroughly like myself i didn't go to any proper beaches i know many people said to go check out the east side of malaysia there's beautiful beaches down there if you're into like that kind of stuff the island vibe the beach vibe if you want to see some beautiful waters and waves and beaches it feels like it's not just me when i did the street interviews with other tourists and foreigners in malaysia many people seem to have similar feelings about what i did or what i have here about malaysia so it's really nice to see that people are all feeling the same way. I really can't find anyone that has a problem with anything in Malaysia. I can't think of something really that bothers me about here. Most countries I go to, there usually is one or two things that annoy me about Malaysia. I can't really put my finger on something aside from the heat, but that doesn't even, doesn't even count because I know it's a tropical country. Speaking of tropical country, Malaysia is green all around. You can find greenery everywhere, not just in the jungles or you know, the parks or the gardens and all those kinds of things. Malaysia is green all around. It is really tropical. You do feel like you're in the middle of a jungle sometimes, which is a good thing if you want to get away from the city life, right? So keep that in mind as well. Usually before going to a country, I have an idea of what to expect, but Malaysia has surprised me the most from all the places I've traveled to. I would love to know if you've been here before. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've been to Malaysia. If you haven't, is this a type of place you want to visit? Anything you want to share, if you take your time to write it, I take the time to respond. With that being said, I think guys, this is a place that I must come back to, to, to explore properly, to really enjoy this place as it should be and to give it proper justice, come here with a better plan, a bigger plan, and try to find and see some beautiful places around Malaysia. Um, I can't really say much more about Malaysia except for that this is a place I can see myself living long-term. Many countries, it's great to just visit but this country seems to have everything you need to have a high standard of living at a very low cost. Because you know, right now, inflation is going through the roof in many countries. Cost of living is rising, especially in Canada. That is the reason why I no longer live there and I've been traveling full time for the past three years now. So guys, uh, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. And if there's a place that I should visit for sure in Malaysia on my next trip, because I feel like I need to explore it more. If you found this video informative, entertaining, or just want to support myself, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be continuing to travel to different countries around the world, and I'd love to have you guys on board to share that experience with you guys. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.